One of the things that's nice about the software that we built is that it allows you to plot uh, one measured quantity versus another measured quantity. And so, for example, you can plot uh, force versus acceleration if you want to study Newton's second law. So one easy way to do that is just with hanging a spring uh, from the force probe and measuring force and acceleration of the IO lab. I'm going to select the accelerometer. I'm going to select the force probe. And I'm going to record. There we go. All right. So if I just let this thing go up and down, then we get simple harmonic motion. But I can, I can do this in a sort of irregular way, like that. And what you'll see, uh, if you look carefully, and here I'm going to just plot the y components of acceleration and force, is you'll see that the acceleration and the force track each other because they're related by F equals MA. But it isn't even obvious, you can sort of see it, but it's nicer if you could plot one of these things versus the other. And so I'm going to click on parametric plot, and I'm going to select the region that I was just looking at. And so now, when you look at that chart, you can see plotted uh, force versus acceleration. So F equals MA is a linear equation with a slope M, which is the mass. So in fact, if you were to find the slope of that straight line that we just created on that parametric plot, you would find that it was 200 grams, which is the mass of the IO lab. So we can actually show that F equals MA. Uh, we can also use the parametric plotting to find Hooke's law in a sort of nice way. So I've showed you how the wheel works. It measures position, velocity, and acceleration. So for Hooke's law, what we want to do is measure the force that the spring is exerting versus how much we've stretched the spring. Okay? So we're, we're going to measure force and we're going to measure displacement of the wheel at the same time. So there, I'm recording both the force and the wheel displacement. So I'm just rolling that back and forth. There we go. Now we, that doesn't look like much, but we'll do a parametric plot now. And you see that that's a nice straight line. And so here we plotted force versus displacement. And with force versus displacement, uh, the slope is equal to the spring constant in uh, newtons per meter. And so you can see that it's very linear. So it, it kind of shows you that the force probe works really well, and it shows you that this spring obeys Hooke's law, which is nobody's surprise.